I chose you to be mine. Before you left your mother's side, I called to you, my child, to be my side. Oh, the word of my Lord, deep within my being. Oh, the word of my Lord, you have filled my mind. I know that you are very young, but I will make you strong. I fill you with my word. And you travel through the land, fulfilling my command, put you up Oh, the word of my Lord, keep within my being. Oh, the word of my Lord, you have filled my mind. And everywhere you are to go, my hand will follow you, you will not be alone. In all the danger that you fear, you find me very near, your words my own. Oh, the word of my Lord, deep within my being. Oh, the word of my Lord, you have filled my mind. Oh, the word of my Lord, keep within my being. Oh, the word of my Lord, you have filled my mind. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep, a new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us build a city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our Lord, has turned the night into day. We are sons of the morning, we are daughters of day, the one who has loved us has brightened our way. Let us build the city of God, may our tears be turned into dancing. God is light, in Him there is no darkness, let us walk in His light, His children walk and walk. Oh, comfort my people, make gentle your word. Proclaim to my city the day of her birth. Let us build the city of song. May our tears be 
the Spirit of the Lord hath filled the whole world, and that which contains all things understands what is said. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon for this very special occasion in amongst all the, the trials and restrictions of COVID, at least we have something to celebrate today for your family and for your children. Very warm welcome to all the family visitors who have managed to be here today as well. Agnes and Peter, I have to say, we had a viewer from New Zealand this morning. He meant to say, like the Mass this morning, and mentioned that Philip was being confirmed, and he's watching today. So welcome to New Zealand. It's amazing that you're actually being beamed out across the world to there in seconds. It's quite incredible. So you're all very welcome today to this special Mass. My brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Right hand of the Father to intercede for us. See on us, forgive us our sins. Glory. To God in the highest, praise you, we bless you, thanks for your great glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church and every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gift of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, Fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. So if you'd like to have a seat now, we have our scripture reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came round, the apostles had all met in one room. When suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from the heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. And something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven. And at this sound they all assembled, each one bewildered, to hear these men speaking in his own language. All these men speaking a Galileans language. Parthians, Medes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya around Cyrene, as well as visitors from Rome, Jews and proselytes alike, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them preaching our own language about the marvels of God, the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are. 
How many are your works, O Lord? The earth is full of your riches. Forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. Send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord unless he is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. There is a variety of gifts, but always the same Spirit. There are all sorts of service to be done, but always to the same Lord, working in all sorts of different ways in different people. It is the same God who is working in all of them. The particular way in which the Spirit is given to each person is for a good purpose. Just as the human body, though it is made up of many parts, is a single unit because all these parts, though many, make one body. So it is with Christ. It is one spirit we were all baptized, Jews as well as Greeks, slaves as well as citizens, and one spirit was given to us all to drink. The word of the Lord. So we stand to clean the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them, and he said to them, Peace be with you and showed them his hands in his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and they said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. So if you'd like to have a seat. Three years ago, the Archbishop reintroduced confirmation at a later age. When I was confirmed, I think I, was, I must have been about 10 or 11, 12, from what I remember. But over previous years, they had brought this confirmation through to P4. And one of the reasons, of many reasons, why the Archbishop decided to move it forward to P7 for, was to give the children longer to have a better understanding of what confirmation means and what it symbolizes. To do confirmation in P4 is just a bit too young for children because their mind's still developing. Uh, they only, I'm sure, their faith is, it starts with their parents. And it's the parents who develop that faith in the family home, the family circle, and coming to church. And they feel now, before you hit secondary school or upper school, or whatever it's called these days, that you're more better equipped to understand what confirmation is about and why we do it. Do any of our four, I don't know whether to call you children or kids or adults or boys, I just don't know nowadays what you call each other. But anyway, if I asked you to confirm something, if your teacher asked you to tell the class that you were confirming you were coming to school tomorrow, what would you say to their, your school pals? If the teacher asked you, 
Philip, if you're teaching that now, if you stand up and say to the class, if you're coming tomorrow, I want you to confirm you're coming, what would you say? Yes, I confirm that I'll be here tomorrow. The point about confirmation is, Mary, there's a wee room at the back there behind the glass, if that helps. And the toilets are in the halls, sorry, I should have said. Um, to confirm this sacrament of confirmation is uh, confirming that you now are prepared and ready to be loyal and faithful and committed to your faith. Your mom and dad brought you from P1, children at home, babies, up to P7, hope, the Catholic faith, the sacraments of the church, First Communion, First Confession, and now Confirmation. So today you are confirming that you will be true to your, the uptake and the practice of your Catholic faith. That is what you're doing. That is all we are doing today, is that. And much as though I'm talking to the children, this really is a parental responsibility here. And I know I go on about this a little, and I don't, I'm not going to say very much more. But as long as your children are with you in your household, you have a responsibility to ensure that the Catholic faith is understood. So eventually, or now that they look forward to coming to church for all the right reasons, and not sort of being dragged along because, well, we're just going on a Sunday, and mom and dad want me to go. That's not what we want for our children. We want our children to understand why we come to church, what it offers, and all of that, and for it to be a happy experience of being here. This, is, this symbol here on the front is very much about Pentecost, the tongues of fire that are the different languages and the, the red symbolic of the Holy Spirit. So that is what we're celebrating today. And I felt it was important that you attended Mass today on top of being confirmed. It was the option of just having a liturgy of the Word and confirmation. But I felt with the last year, because we have been deprived of being at church, it was more important, very important, to actually combine today. So I hope in the years to come, that especially when you leave primary school and you head into upper school, secondary school, the challenges will be very different for you, obviously, not just academically, but in every other way, your challenges will be much more uh, than you've ever had to face before. Some of them will be great, and some of them will be worrying or whatever it is. But as long as you've got your parents with you, you'll be fine in all the years of you going through school, because they will guide you, they will steady you, and above all that you know that your mum and dad love you very much and they will only want the best for you. So, we're going to actually do conversations now. Okay. Good. So what we do is being confirmed comes forward with the sponsor. You have to wear your mask for this. Sorry. And then I will anoint you. Oh, sorry, I've got one. A, a, prayer to say first. I'll anoint you with the holy oil shoulder and hands me the piece of paper. Okay. So my dear people, as the Lord had promised, and so completing the work of baptism, Paul placed his hands on those who they began to speak in other languages and up to the apostles and have this power of giving the Holy Spirit to their point is no longer marked by the gift of tongues, but we know this by his coming of faith. 
He fills our hearts with the love of God, brings us together in one faith, but in different vocations, and works within us to make the church one and holy. The gift of the Holy Spirit, which you are about to receive, will be a spiritual sign and seal to make you more like Christ and more perfect members of his church. At baptism, his baptism by John, Christ himself was anointed by the Spirit and sent out on his public ministry to set the world on fire. You have already been baptized into Christ, and now you will receive the power of his Spirit and the sign of the cross on your forehead. You must be witnesses before all the world to his suffering, death, and resurrection. Your way of life should at all times reflect the goodness of Christ. Christ gives varied gifts to his church, and the Spirit distributes them among the members of Christ's body to build up the holy people of God in unity and love. So be active members of the church, alive in Jesus Christ, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, give your lives completely in the service of all, as, as did Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve. So now, before you receive the Spirit, I ask you to renew the pr profession of faith you made in baptism with your parents and godparents, made in union with the whole church. So if we could just all stand well. And the parents, <clears throat> you can join in this, but we'll keep this alive. I ask you, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? He was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost, and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. My dear friends, in baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen his sons and daughters with his gifts and to anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. So if you'd like to have a seat. So, Philip, we'll have you first. And your sponsor. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you just kneel on the pink carpet, that's it. That's David is sealed with the Holy Spirit. Good, thank you. Okay. James. Thank you very much. Paul. Is sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. 
Good, thank you. Lena? Thank you. Mary is sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. And Amy. Just come up, take it this way if you want. Can you get through all right? <laughs> Thank you. Adelaide is sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Okay. Good. Thank you. But dear friends, let us be one in prayer to God our Father as we are one in faith, hope, and love his Spirit gives. These sons and daughters of God, confirmed by the gift of the Spirit, that they would give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love. Lord, hear us, or oh, graciously hear us. For their parents and godparents who led them in faith, that by word and example they may always encourage them to follow the way of Jesus Christ. Lord, hear us. For the Holy Church of all the bishops, that God in unity of faith and love, and for all men and women of every race and nation, that they may acknowledge the one God as Father, and in the bond of common brotherhood seek his kingdom, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear us. God our Father, you sent your Holy Spirit upon the apostles, and through them and their successors you give the Spirit to your people. May his work begun at Pentecost continue to grow in the hearts of all who believe. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And so we now move into the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mist of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, because you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash me my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice. May lead us all into the truth. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son, the same Spirit as the Church came to birth open to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory and their faith. or sit, whichever you prefer. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit of body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Passion. He took bread and giving this, all of you, indeed of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Leo, our Bishop, all the clergy and our four families here today. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And so we stand now at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So we kneel or sit. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
our communion prayer. <clears throat> Soul of Christ, be my sanctification. Body of Christ, be my salvation. Blood of Christ, fill all my veins. Water from Christ, I sight. Shed my stains. Passion of Christ, my comfort be. O good Jesus, listen to me. In your wounds I fain would hide, ne'er to be parted from your sight. Guard me should the foe assail me. Call me for my last. I shall fail me. Bid me come to thee above with all your sins to sing your love world without end. Amen. Well, we have the happy task now of giving our candidates their certificates. It's never been quite the same since COVID has restricted us in everything. So I'm afraid I can't have you all coming up here, but I'll hand them out to you, okay? So Philip, congratulations. Keep that nice and safe now. Because when you come to get married, <laughs> which is a, a wee far away yet. <laughs> yeah, indeed, I know. They'll, they'll want to know your confirmation date. But there it is, in black and white for you. You just fill in your sponsor's name. Okay, there. Because I wasn't sure who exactly was going to do it. All right. James, dear boy, congratulations. Good lad. Amy, keep that nice and safe, okay? Just fill in where it says sponsor, who your sponsor was, all right? Polina, one for you. Okay, good. I'm giving you these. You're maybe a bit late, and mum and dad will keep you right as you <clears throat> go on. They're just little scriptural. You can tell somebody's inspired by the Spirit, by the way they smudge, and hopefully you can hang on to them and use them as you Amy? There we are. Deprived of the Archbishop, he normally does this, with all the rest of it. He can't travel around every show me to you all today. Thank you very much for being stayed back today. He's already done masters in New Zealand and for the parish so here. And nice afternoon. Keep safe, you all, but I'll try and is it the end of June you bring before the end of June and say hello to you all? It's been pretty grim, hasn't it? At school and all the rest of it. Anyway, keep safe and nice to have had you with us. So we stand or can I just ask you just to go leave one family at a time with a gap in between. Sorry. All right. Sorry, you can stand again. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
light of your love shining in the midst of the darkness shining Jesus light of the world shine upon us set us free by the truth you now bring us shine on me shine on me shine Jesus shine Set our hearts on fire. The flow in the flow of the nation with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and then you shadows into your rages by the blood i may enter your brightness search me try me consume all my darkness shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine through this land with the father's Set our hearts on fire. Glory the flow from the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be love. On your healing brightness, so our faces display your likeness, ever changing from glory to glory. Mirrored here, may our lives tell the story. Shine on me, shine on me, shine, Jesus, shine. Set our hearts on fire. Glory the flow of the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and then let there be light. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this. 